Ballad did not want the success of Nehemiah. He didn't want Jerusalem to be successful. One is because he had set up his own little sidebar and he was profiting from them being marginal. I'm going to tell you something. God has not called you to be marginal. God has called you to be a person that's able to do exceeding things. Don't you know God wants you to go to another level? Look at your neighbor and say, there's another level in you. Tell them, come on, that's a higher level in you. There's more that you can do than what you've already done already. Don't you know that God got a plan for you? You know what the Bible says? The Bible makes a lot of promises. One promise the Bible says, says that a just man leaves an inheritance to his children's children. If, if, if a just man leaves an inheritance to his children's children, then that's me. <laughs> now, if I'm going to leave an inheritance to my children's children, then when am I going to get it? Look at your neighbor and say, I'm going to get mine right now. In other words, in other words, I got to believe right now that money is coming to me. <laughs> I got to believe right now that favor is coming to me. I got to believe right now that my business is being blessed. I got to believe right now that something is on the horizon for me. I want you to take a moment and take a break and tell three people that good is on my way. Good is coming to my house. Good is on its way to me. I don't care how things look, good is going to run me down. The Bible said we will be blessed in the city, blessed in the field, blessed coming in, blessed going out. Brothers and sisters, you are called to be blessed. You just got to stop apologizing for expecting a blessing. You just need to stop telling somebody 19 more days, I got a blessing coming. I believe in the 40 day blessing. It was a 40 day promise and I got 19 days left. I don't know when my ship coming in, but I heard the choo choo choo. The train is on its way. I don't know what you think about yourself, but I got an expectation. My prayer is going to be answered. God is going to make a way for me somehow. I can hear the bells ringing. Ring, ring, ring. It's my time to get a blessing. I can hear it. God has called it unto me. So when I look at this text, I look at again what Nehemiah had to deal with. The first thing he dealt with was outlining where his enemy attack would come from. I'm going to tell you, don't be afraid of your enemy. Don't be afraid of people that don't like you. You ain't just seen, you ain't got to worry about who don't like you. As a matter of fact, people don't like you. People don't care about you sometimes. But there's always somebody that won't good things that happen to you. So Nehemiah outlined where his enemy was coming from. And here is the thing you want to always remember. Your enemy is watching you or your enemy is scared of you. 
you ain't got to fear your enemy because he's afraid of you. And what he's afraid of is that he won't be able to control you when your blessing really come in. That's why you ain't got time to be distracted by your enemies because your blessings are on its way. The enemy is upset because once God bless you, you will be on a level where he cannot touch you. You heard MC Hammer say, can't touch this. I heard Jesus. I heard the word of God say, touch not my anointed. Do my prophets no harm. When you are God's property, the Bible said no weapon formed against you can prosper.